I've really been getting big into streaming lately. And honestly, when it comes to streaming, you really need some accessories to make your life a lot better when it comes to stream quality, but also quality of life while you're streaming. Now, first and foremost, you need a really good camera and you need a really good microphone. But the most important thing you need is an accessory that helps you change between different scenes in OBS or an accessory to really help you control everything at the touch of a button. And that is where the Cooler Master Master Hub comes into play. This is a really unique accessory that you can use for your stream that is fully customizable in every way imaginable. And when I say customizable, well, I really mean customizable. This may look similar to other devices you may have seen, but this has one very unique feature. You can take each one of these off and you can customize the layout of this panel however you like. And this has so many different layout options, it's insane. But it's not even just the layout options, it's actually the full modularity because there's other devices that you can get as well that we sell at Micro Center that you can easily add on to here to really customize your Cooler Master Master Hub. Now I'm gonna plug this in, I'm gonna get this set up and let's take a look at what we can do with this guy. So the software that comes with Cooler Master Master Hub is actually very easy to use. You just download it from their website, get it installed, and you can start customizing your device. Now I have this in a vertical orientation. I kind of like this because this gives me the 15 keys right here at the bottom. And I like to have that within sort of like hand reach over here because when I'm streaming, I like to have a hotkey so that I can capture a vertical uh, clip for anything that, you know, funny that might happen. Like I'm playing Ark Raiders and something really funny happens, which is like every two minutes, uh, I could just kind of like reach over with my pinky, press that and I'll save a clip there. But I also like having that so I can change scenes and anything else, mute my mic in case something happens. So it's really accessible. But Having these dials here to adjust my audio, I can also adjust the audio of each individual audio input. So for instance, I could have my mic, I could have my game input, my Discord audio when I have my friends on there and maybe I just wanna mute them from my stream or any other audio devices I have going on because when I stream, I actually have a lot of different things happening. I even have multiple cameras going on in my room because I like to stream myself sort of 3D printing and working on other projects. So it's kind of nice to have this level of control over all of my different devices. And in the software over here, well, it's actually really, really easy to get set up. First of all, with OBS, which is what I have open right up here, I have a couple of different scenes open. So for instance, I can show you on here, I have one scene of just my camera. I like to keep one scene of just my desktop capture, just a clean scene there. I have one that's sort of half and half, and then I have one of me in the corner. So if I wanna switch between those four scenes, but do it very, very quickly, well, I can just drag this right over, take this, program this to whichever scene I want, and I mean, that's basically it. I really like when it's just drag and drop for setting up uh, in this software. Uh, I've used a lot of different devices like this. I've used a lot of different softwares. So when it's drag and drop like that and it works just right out of the box, all I did was plug this in. I haven't configured this yet and OBS is already set in the way that I want. So the next thing that I can do, I can start programming this, you know, for instance, for some of my Twitch controls, I don't have Twitch on right now, but if there's anything I wanna do there, uh, this will also integrate into Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and that's actually really, really cool, especially when you take a look at the Master Hub encoder and the Master Hub 3 knob over here. These devices you can also program. I kind of like this because you can program, let's say in DaVinci Resolve and I want to do some quick color corrections in my color tab. I can do my shadows, my medium tones and my highlights right there. Just a little quick color correction. But what's really interesting about the encoder, which I could just literally install right now actually, this has an IPS panel on it. And I actually think that's really rad. In the software, you'll see it changes right away. So once you swap out the devices, it just pulls it up. You can start customizing it immediately. Oh yeah, look, there's little lighting setups too. I wanna change the lighting for the knobs. Let's do like a micro center blue. There we go, micro center blue. All right, that was pretty easy to do. All right, so in Photoshop over here, I have like 
my brush size. So that's one that you can do. So I can use the encoder so I can increase or decrease my brush size. But the cool thing is it pulls up a nice little picture of a brush <laughs> on that little display. So just like the display that you get on the 15 keys over here, you also get a display here and you can also customize that display to whatever you want. So if you want to add your own images or anything else, but I really, really like the modularity of this guy. All right, so I have a couple of things set up over here. I have this set to zoom in and out. I have this set up for audio. I have my different OBS scenes over here. I can start and stop my recording over here, but then I can keep adding different customizations that I have programmed. And using the rotary encoder, I can use that for my Photoshop brush, but then once I'm ready to swap and I wanna have all of my audio inputs, well, there you go. Pops right up in the software and now I can start customizing the five different faders that I have available. It's a really, really cool device and I highly recommend you check it out. So make sure you stop by your local Micro Center to get your hands on the Cooler Master Master Hub. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me.